Okay, a little one-to-one -to -one today. We're putting in this Monster Ram intake. The old plenum. You can see how narrow that gap is. This is metal coming down, makes a big flat spot. So you only got this little trough going through that wonderful little grid heater. Banks is gonna open that up, eliminate the grid heater, move a coil, a coil heater up here. You can see the hole for it there. And then all of this is wide open, a little bit taller, long radius, get a little bit better airflow. This is the infamous death bolt. Of course, could be that one too. These have been known to corrode, break off, loosen up, fall off, and that falls inside the plenum, down into the back cylinder, and ouchie. So, that was kind of my basis for doing this. Originally was to not have to deal with worrying about that bolt coming loose or corroding and falling off. Um, I will say the job isn't terrible difficult except for the freaking fuel lines. Oh my god. Way back there in the back. That number six one. You need three or four different wrenches. You absolutely have to have a crow's foot. Three quarter inch. And then you get a sixteenth of a turn, and then you got to change to a different wrench, like an open-end box end, to get it a little more of a turn. And then you put the crow's foot on a ratchet and try and get a little more turn until you can get the breaker bar back on it. <sighs> Literally hours trying to get that thing tight. And of course they want it. 40 foot-pounds. How the hell are you going to torque that back there? I got it good and tight. Uh, the rest of them weren't too bad. They do supply you with a number one that comes up and over so it clears the ram intake that comes in. Ram, air, in, whatever Banks is calling that thing. The Banks thing that's red. This will clear it. Um, gives you some new gaskets and stuff. All in all, if it wasn't for the fuel lines, not a bad job. Now I got to transfer the EGR valve, which I'm going to clean, and the throttle over to the new one, and then start putting that part back together. I'm eight hours deep in this job already. And of course, yesterday, 85 and sunny and hot, put a shade up so that I'd be all protected. And today, Welcome to Oregon. It's misting and it's cooler. I'll take it.